to Maypole Farm. And first off, if you're confused as to why the hay bales are in the shed, that's because I did a live stream on it, which is available on the channel if you want to go and watch that. It was pretty short. I just put the hay bales on the trailer, drove them back over, put them in the shed. Um, so we need to feed the cows. They need some silage. So because I've mowed all of the grass, we're now into feeding bales and things. Um, so for some reason I managed to unwrap three rather than two, but hey, um, you've got to take that bale wrap off because realism is key. I don't always take the bale wrap off. Mm. Yeah, so the cows need a little bit of silage and a little bit of hay. Um, I am going to need to go buy some grain mix for their power feed or actually just remind myself what the options are for power feed. Um, because it's been a while we've been doing the the indirect grazing on here or the zero grazing for so long that um yeah we haven't fed components for a while and all the other maps i'm playing i'm using tmr so i did ask in a previous video and uh, i'm curious still whether people think we should lease a a tmr mixer through the winter um and and feed tmr rather than you know just dropping bales at the feed trough at, feels a bit weird um so yeah curious as to what people think i'm i'm kind of leaning towards the idea of leasing a feed mixer i think um oh so yeah need to blow some straw in at some point i did not get around to doing that this video they do have some left the, the, the slurry pit is very full um you'll see that when i click on here the both slurry pits are pretty full um I don't remember if I've done it for the last video. I have implemented Night Cloak's uh, more realistic milking as well at this point. So uh, we're getting less milk. Um, and this shed is not producing any milk yet because the cows aren't old enough now. They were before, but you know. I really like that addition to the game where the milk's milking cyclic and stuff. So uh, it's going to be an interesting one because I'm not sure how many cows we can sustain as to whether we can sustain enough to keep milk production up so it's gonna be a fun challenge um, yeah so for the rest of this video um we need to get those silage bales off the field and then we need to work on fertilizing the fields so we're gonna have to look at doing that um i want to get basically i want to get some manure spread on the field so that over the winter it can rot down and do nice things to the grass um because you know that I, uh, I very early on in this series um, one very very kind viewer pointed out that um, you probably wouldn't put manure on the fields once you were into mowing and stuff because it takes a while for the manure to break down so kind of been doing that we've been doing slurry on between cuts and that means I've stockpiled a fair bit of manure and I would like to get that put on the fields um, yeah and if you remember who you are thank you thank you ever so much i remember who you are um so right let's go grab some of these bales um, i'm not going to bother putting them on the trailer it is not worth it um, there's no point double handling them when the fields are so close to the farm um I did put them on the I did put the hay bales on the trailer because we had to do the loop round. I, I really hate that loop. Having to go up around the forest or up around that field. Um Yeah. I was looking as I was playing this at whether we could put a farm track in to shortcut it and maybe I'm thinking we could go along the edge of this field and at least cut the corner off. Um because this is gonna stay pasture, so that is an option. I could go across the top of field 19, but that brings me on the edge of field 11, and field 11 is going to have a crop in it next year, so I couldn't use it to get to field 12. So, I oh, maybe could. Um, yeah, just find it quite frustrating doing that loop round. No flickering again. No idea why. Might, might be that we've just progressed far enough through that we're into the wind trees. Um, yeah. Flickering seems to come and go, and it's uh, slightly infuriating still. But yeah, just need just need giants to, to 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 get on and fix it, and it'll be fine. Um, so I'm quite ahead on the recording now. I've, 
I've put in a bit of a shift this week and uh, it's Friday and this video is going out on Tuesday. So uh, yeah, weekend ahead. Um, I think we're going off to a university tomorrow with the teenager to uh, to have another look round. So that'll be a busy day. I could really do with a quiet day. It's been a really tiring week, but hey, um, I did not get much sleep last night. I, uh, my brain was far too awake when I went to bed and uh, yeah, did not get much sleep. I didn't get very good quality sleep, but I think uh, for me, quality of sleep is more important almost than amount of sleep. Um, I'm just going to move the uh, the grain trader out of the way so we can stack those bales there to keep them separate. Um, yeah, I can these days because I've kind of had to get to. I can survive on about five hours sleep as long as it's good sleep. Um, if I don't sleep well, then yeah, um, and I did not sleep well last night. Um, as a result of that, I have a headache and my neck hurts. Yay. Um, so, that's fun. Um, but, it's not the end of the world. And, uh, the only plus is at the moment, I'm not doing any running because I injured my foot last week. So, that's not making me so tired. Hoping I can actually start up again tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Sunday because um, it's actually feeling quite a lot better now so we'll see how that goes yeah I, I've really embraced now with playing farm sim and making videos I am just going to open the game and play it was a, a revelation that I introduced a little while ago now I'm going to say the word stress I don't mean stress, I just can't think of the right word. Um, I got to the point, of, I have spoken about this in the past, but um, I got to the point where I found that I was getting stressed about opening up some of my Let's Play saves because I wasn't sure what amazing job I was going to do to make a video. Um, stressed is not quite the right word, but I can't think of the right word. So um, that's what I'm using. And since I've gone to, I'm just going to open up farm sim and do some stuff it's been a lot better um, so yeah although there have been a lot more tutorials lately there's a few more to come next week or this week I guess um, let me have a look no, there's only one more this week actually there's only a couple this week there might be actually be more let's plays this week which would be fun um, yeah I really enjoyed doing this making this video last night um, so I sat recording this last night and recorded it pretty much in one stint which has been quite rare lately um, and it was a lot of fun um, I'm planning so remember it's Friday now so this doesn't apply when you're watching the video um, definitely not because I'll have been in the office when you're on the day you're watching the video um, I'm going to do some more streaming later so I'm going to be on Atium will have been on Atting and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes the stream that I did on here the other day went a bit wrong uh, it's really fr really infuriating actually I had done a couple of tests in the background with uh, unlisted streams and everything seemed to be working fine all the settings were okay and uh, I hit the go live button to actually go live on the stream event that I created and uh I was just getting all sorts of warning messages about data rates and stuff and uh, I don't think it was actually showing anything on the screen at one point so I had to cancel it and then start a completely fresh separate stream so um, but once I got going I actually quite enjoyed it it was quite good fun so we'll give it another go today um, something that I've taken on board which was feedback from one of the patrons was not to stress so much about video quality because that was the problem was I was trying to stream in 1440p um, which is quite taxing on a computer and not to stress about so this is the last bail I got it all done apart from one in the dark um, not to stress about video quality because it's kind of about the 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 event of streaming so the next one will have been in 1080p again um, and uh, yeah I do. I appreciate that kind of feedback because look at that sunrise. 
Is there any reason I shot this? Okay, that's all right. It's awesome. Um, and then streaming is a new thing for me. So we, we need to do some slurry selling as well. That's the other reason that I've started recording because we're off to the slurry sell point. Um, streaming is new to me. I actually started content creation a lot of years ago, streaming, and I did an awful job. I don't think any of them are online anymore. But you can't go and see because I think Twitch has removed them all by now. Um, there were some on YouTube, but they're not there anymore. Um, yeah. It's pretty different. I think I actually spoken about this in another voiceover I recorded yesterday. So I might not hammer on about it too much, but it's very different. Um, I'm really grateful, actually, that um, to those of you that turn up, hopefully some turn up this afternoon, um, and that it's really weird because of how my brain is um i find it weird that people turn up and we have a nice conversation probably shouldn't but yeah it's how my brain is so yeah i really appreciate the guys that turn up and uh hopefully it will have been fun this afternoon so we will see i have no long-term plans for what when or if i will stream so the reason that I'm doing these tests is uh, so that when we get to streaming the, the Terra Life Alpha stuff, rather than me just joining Paul's stream, I can also stream my side of things. So that's why I'm doing these tests. Um, there is the possibility that you know, Friday afternoon is quite a good slot for me generally, although quite sometimes it's being used with Cartex to record multiplayer. Um, so let's just get this first tanker load of slurry sold. Um, now if you remember, I reduced the amount that this pays out because this one pays out quite a silly amount for slurry. So we're getting about 70 odd pounds per thousand litres. So not a big payout, um, you know, like 1300 quid a trailer load. So um, I'm going to get auto drive going, looping around, selling slurry because both slurry pits are pretty full. Um, while we can sell the little bit of milk that we have significantly less than we were getting and i did it dumb there um probably take the weight off the back first mate yeah so i'm doing the streaming as a a preemptive to being ready to stream terror life at some point um because it's probably gonna be a lot more interesting in that and so i want to make mistakes when it's with uh some of the some of you guys that the regulars um so the grass has grown, which kind of surprised me. We're in November now. I didn't expect it to have another growth state, so it's kind of interesting. Um, there might be a little bit we can can mow to feed to the cows, but I think at this point I'm just going to get on with feeding them separately. Um, just to some, do something different. So going to uh, send the milk off with auto drive as well. So we're going to stay back at the yard doing a bit of management. It's a farm management and coordination, shall we say. Mm. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I'm curious as to what you guys think about streaming. Um, it's not something that I really have. Um, you know, like most people stream in the evenings because that's when people are sat wanting to watch streams. Um, I like to spend my evenings with Mrs. D because I don't see much of her because I'm at work all day. Uh, and then at the weekends I go running for half the weekend so you know um, an ideal I guess would be a hotel that had good enough internet that when I'm away with work I could stream but very few hotels have good enough internet for that um, it's not reliable so um, and quite often my evenings when I'm away I spent recording the rest most of the content for the week so yeah not gonna work Six grand for the milk. Pretty happy with that. So yeah, um, mark spreading. I spotted that in the sales. I'm not often looking in the sales. There are a couple of interesting things actually. Um, that, but not so much. Um, as a fear agri, you don't really need that. Um, there is a New Holland, that one, which I think is genre is is year appropriate, but it's really expensive. And the favorite five hundred. But actually, what we're interested in is this manure spreader for 18 grand, uh, 14 meter working width, or 12 meter working width, 14,000 liters, 18 grand. So I think we're going to buy that. Um, 
we're only going to be using it a few times a year but i think you know we might release so much it's actually start buying some things so it was a pretty good deal so and you can't do lease to own on used stuff so there is that it would be really interesting to be able to lease used kit yeah that'd be an interesting one anyway um because as they say realism is key um we're going to get the front loader out and the shovel and uh or the bucket i could do with getting a manure fork i think something with slightly bigger capacity than a thousand liters but um yeah last time i did the muck spreading i used the the fill trigger um and at some point i will switch to using the fill trigger for this because uh a thousand liters a time is quite time consuming and actually because i have the weight limit on on here we can't put fourteen thousand liters and we can put just over twelve thousand. but even so it's like 13 buckets full um and there were only so many times i was going to do that when i have the option to not um in in fs19 when you couldn't do that i would pretty much always use a belt I would pretty much always use a belt system to load manure up um, or a really big bucket. I used to really like the, um, I don't remember who it was by, the the really big bucket that you could put on a telehandler that was so, uh, held like 5,000 litres. If you used it with manure, you needed a serious weight on the back, otherwise you were tipping over. Um, but that, that made filling manure okay. Um, I guess the equivalent now would be like on adding it with the platinum dlc where i've got the big volvo wheel loader with the big bucket 10,000 litre bucket that would make doing make filling manure really easy because uh, it'd be one and a one and a quarter buckets when it's nearly 13 it's a bit more time consuming so yeah um i did a mixture i'm going to be honest with you um i did some of it by hand did some of it using the r key um, you know there's realism and then there's it's going to take me five hours to spread manure on a field i know in the real world it takes farmers longer than that to spread manure on a field uh, but this is a video game so yeah um, anywho we're full was slightly wrong in the amount 12,100 litres we're going to start on the smaller field first so field 16 15 I can't read that number 16 um, when I render the the video that I'm talking to now I do it at quite low resolution um, not the 4k that I upload to YouTube just because it's quicker and it makes the file smaller um, but yeah that's why the text is a bit blurry for me because uh, it's a pretty low resolution video so we're gonna just get in the field uh, we need to add i'm gonna add a decent amount of nitrogen so that we're uh you know we're in a good position for next year as well this is going to be maize again i think or maybe beets i'm not sure which nice day is grass i've not got my planting schedule up on the screen because we're not planting until spring so uh yeah um I keep mentioning that I have a plan for using two computers to do stuff and uh, the bale stacking that I've already done was going to be when I was going to first use it and I haven't because I streamed half of it and then uh, did the other half sat downstairs on the refiner so uh, but it'll come it'll come I'm not sure what I'm going to do about winter on here um there was that little forestry plot that I was tempted to pick up, but we're not so flush with cash now, and the contracts are pretty thin on the ground. So there's still bailing contracts, but I'm not going to do any because it's November. That feels wrong. Um, there's a root crop harvesting contract, which I might end up picking up. Um, not sure. We'll see. Um, but otherwise, we might just be feeding and skipping time. So... The nice thing is that I think the milk is still going to cover the wages for the workers. So unlike last winter, we won't be just hemorrhaging cash to pay workers to come and sit at the yard. 
help us feed cows. Um, yeah, so what do you think? I'm going to say at this point, I always end up doing it at about 20 minutes. I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Um, yeah, it's very cool. Appreciate the people that reach out and chat to me as well. Um, it's uh, it's sometimes like the, the taking the leap into streaming was a big step for me. It was a big step, and uh, the positive feedback really helped. Um, I when I'm doing this, I tend to try and present myself as someone who's fairly confident. Um, you know, particularly doing the tutorials not always the case it's not always the case and uh some of these things are quite nerve-wracking i think they're good for me um you know i'd have to do some you know speaking through work you know presenting and stuff and so actually this is kind of, and i kind of pull on that to do this sometimes and the other way it's going to be helpful i think with presenting at work as long as i don't you know ask people to click the like button halfway through the presentation because that'd be a bit awkward yeah or to subscribe at the end um yeah so yeah i do appreciate the feedback that people give me um, it helps it helps a lot anyway we're uh, we're gonna get some fields fertilized i'm not going to show you all four fields being fertilized because the uh getting around to fields 11 and 12 it's quite a long drive and quite a long job so we're going to do uh 16 and 19 uh, then i'll do the other two off camera and i have in fact done them already i sat and did them after i recorded this but the video was at the point where it was getting quite long oh so, yeah the uh oh, the deutz is back well uh i don't have it set up so they can fill because the trigger for the far cow shed is probably okay. The trigger for the this one is a reverse job. Um, and auto drive plus reverse plus dolly trailer sounds like a really bad idea to me. So um, I think I could get this one to work on auto drive. I might have to look at setting that up. Um, I was also tempted by Eagle's suggestion of uh, fitting a longer pipe essentially moving the trigger out so that we can drive past rather than having to reverse in and was uh was tempted to have a look at that i might still um it's probably what i'd do in the real world i'd probably put a longer longer hose on my tank up rather than have to reverse it in every time i think that'd be cheaper with all the damage from reversing so full again and we're pretty much done i i did jump ahead a fair bit at this point um what I don't think I recorded. I actually think I might have lost some video. Not sure. Um, the uh, the pH on this field is freaking awful. The nitrogen is pretty bad as well. Where we've been mowing it more frequently um, with the zero grazing, we've uh, we've really hit the quality of this field. I think we might need to get the agronomist in to rescan it as well and check the soil for us and see what we need to do. Um, the, the precision farming data has really faded on this field where it's been worked so much so yeah might leave that until spring when we've got some money coming in um, and the grass starts to grow but yeah I think we're definitely going to have to pay to get this field the soil sampled in this field again which is uh, a bit annoying because I don't think it was cheap because it's quite a big field um yeah no. should park the uh the spreader up here um so i do end up doing the other two fields after i have finished recording um basically i didn't feel like sitting editing the video so i just played some more because it was fun um i was going to end it here but then i realized that we've got the uh the Deutz running off to the, i think it needs to do one more load of slurry Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's done a decent amount of carting for us. Um, so I should probably have used the tractors the other way around because the uh, the fear is faster on the road. 
um, and the, the Deutz was struggling with the weight of the full tanker. Oh so, yeah, you want you want that one? I want that one. So five grand of milk, four grand or maybe five grand of slurry salt. So pretty good. Um, anyway. I am going to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. Comments, questions, suggestions below. And if you've watched me waffle on for nearly 26 minutes and you aren't, think about subscribing. It's a long way off, but 5,000 subscribers, there'll be a giveaway. Uh, also, go check Carter K. He just hit 500 subs yesterday. Uh, and he should have way more because I think he's really good. And December Farms, watching his videos yesterday as well. He's really good as well. Go check them both out. Uh, whilst we very slowly sell, sell slurry, I should have cut this bit out, but I didn't. So, yeah, go check out some small YouTubers. Um, I'm a small YouTuber still. It's a grind. Go help them out. And another 1,200 quid. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time on Maple Farm.